Hello, hello, I'm Breton, one of our MCAT tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where we help students get into med school and other professional programs. Today, we're going to talk about the most important sensory organ you need to know for the MCAT, the eye. Specifically, we're going to walk through the eye's anatomy, as well as the specific nerve pathways that it takes all the way back to the occipital lobe. First, we will dive into the eye anatomy and what things are doing. Let's start with the outer anterior portion of the eye. The cornea. The cornea is a translucently white color that bulges out from the eye and gathers and filters the incoming light. As the cornea continues around the eye, it slowly merges into the sclera. So here is our cornea. If we follow it to the sides, we see it merges with the sclera, white but shown orange in this diagram. The sclera is this white outer portion of the eyeball. Underneath the sclera, we have the choroid. The choroid contains vascular tissue that supports the functioning of the eye. Going one layer deeper, we reach the retina. This is where light hits and transduces a signal. More on that later. Now we will explain the functions of the eye as it follows a stream of light. Let's make that stream of light purple. So first it's going to pass through the cornea, where it is filtered. The light then is going to bend ever so slightly due to the aqueous humor, which is between the cornea and iris. The light then passes through the aqueous humor into the pupil. The diameter of the pupil is controlled by the iris, the colored part of the eye. After light passes through the pupil, it is further bent by the lens. This is a much more dramatic degree of bending than the aqueous humor. The lens has its thickness controlled by ciliary bodies, which pull on it to stretch it out. After light is refracted from the ciliary body, it will further bend once it reaches the vitreous humor, which is between the lens and the retina. After further refraction, the light will finally land on the retina. At the retina, the light will cause an electrical signal to be produced. We will talk more about the specifics of signal transduction in our next video. What we need to focus on now is that after hitting the retina, the signal will travel to the optic nerve. After the optic nerve, it'll pass through the optic chiasm, then the optic tract, then the lateral geniculate nucleus, or LGN, then the visual radiations, and finally, to the visual cortex in the occipital lobe. In our next video on the eye, we'll dive deeper into some of the eye physiology as well as how signals are transduced. But for this video, you should now have an understanding of the anatomy of the eye and the pathway light takes to ultimately end up in the occipital lobe. In our next video on the eye, we're going to focus on how light causes nerve impulses, a difference between rods and cones, and how to treat poor vision. Thank you so much for watching our first video on eye anatomy, and I will see you next time.